Hey YouTube, I'm going to show you how I made this full length gathered skirt. So here are my measurements. It's 30 inches wide by 42 inches long. Here's my waistband. It is 6 inches long by 30 inches wide. Adding the feasible interface is completely optional. When I did my first skirt, I did not add it, but you can just to make your waistband a little bit more sturdier. Now, now it's time to add the pockets. The pockets are completely optional. You do not have to add pockets, okay? What I always do when I add my pockets, it's always six inches from the top of the skirt, not including the waistband. So now you're gonna sew within the seam allowance. So once it is attached, it's gonna look like this okay now it's time to sew your skirt together you're going to take the front and the back of your skirt and you're going to make them right sides touching and you're going to do this for both sides you're going to start at the top go down to the top of the pocket make that corner go around the pocket and go down the full length of the skirt and now your skirt is connected now it's time to attach the waistband but first we have to find the back center of the skirt so we can add our zipper and how I do that I just fold the skirt in half equal distance and mark the middle of the back of the skirt now you can't even tell but those pockets are installed that's why I love these inseam pockets however whatever you call them but they are seamless so now we're going to use a gathering stitch or a basting stitch to gather our skirt basically okay all you have to do is go to your sewing machine and you have to loosen the tension if you have a computerized more fancier sewing machine you just have to make your machine to the longest stitch on your machine and you can gather it. and you have to be very careful so you do not break the bottom bobbin thread okay in order to gather it appropriately okay so now that it's gathered to my waist band okay my suggestion is that you adjust your gatherings to your waistband don't adjust your waistband to the gatherings. The gatherings can be moved around and maneuvered. I need you to maneuver your gatherings to your waistband because your waistband is your waist. You're gonna need that to fit your waist, not the gathers to fit your waist. Hopefully that makes sense. Now this area right here, that I'm marking and pinning where I made that white mark to the middle of the back of the the skirt okay so that is where we are going to cut that makes any sense in order to install the zipper so I left an ample amount of waistband and then we're gonna cut it so we have more than enough room to add our zipper so now that everything is attached now we're gonna sew around Okay, now our waistband is attached. Now it's time to install a zipper. I don't know what happened to the footage, but I'm gonna make a miniature one for you. So stay with me, follow me. So imagine this is the back of the skirt. I'm cutting up the center line of the back of the skirt, okay? That's what we are doing, stay with me. Stay with me, I got you, don't worry. Okay, so in regards to the zipper, you want to make sure that the top of the zipper is covered by the top of the waistband. Now there are two ways to do a waistband to finish it and I'm going to show you both, okay? So in regards to this way that I'm showing you, you have to do this prepping. You have to make sure that the top fold of your waistband covers the top of the zipper, okay? Got me? You want to make sure that your zipper is long enough because it will not fit over your booty. Just an FYI, mine was not long enough. I didn't know I had that much junk in the trunk because it did not fit. So now what we're going to do, what I'm showing you, you're going to base stitch to that line and then sew the rest of the length all the way with a regular stitch. Then you must press your seam open so you can then pin your zipper into place. 
okay you want to make sure that that zipper lines up with that seam So you're going to sew down, across, and then right back up. Now that your zipper is sewn in place, you must set it free with a seam ripper. Or you can use some small scissors, but just be careful. Make sure that you do not cut through your fabric. Just make sure. Now that you have set your zipper free, you are basically done. It's concealed. It's neat. Now, if you did this option, you can stop watching the video. You are done. Bye, boo. I love you. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. If you would did this option, you want to see this option, continue watching. You're going to take it over to the machine, top stitch, and you're going to make sure that that bottom thread catches it and conceals it and you have a nice clean seam. You can finish this off with some pinking shears or you can do a serger. But then you're all done. Let me show y'all. Ooh, look at it. I think the most stunning part about this skirt was the pattern. I loved the pattern, the print, whatever you want to call it. If you guys have any more questions, please leave them down in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, and rate. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Protect your styling. Yes, yes. How many ladies out there got protective styles today? Woo! All right. How many?